as he sends this one away. From the 10. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Time for Dak Prescott in the down. Scott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. To about the 40-yard line. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. And this one quickly to Lamb. A quick slam. Good for eight and a first. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Prescott looks to throw on first. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's oh, check in with our referee. Oh, oh. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got oh, caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Now Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Prescott to throw it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 31-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And again, it's Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. To throw again on second down. Prescott. And that would incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And they'll get this down to the 10. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Another catch for him.
I know a lot of defensive coaches have certain guys on their squad that they look to as drive stoppers, guys who can make big plays, interceptions, knock it free. In this case, they didn't need one. The offense supplied it for them, just dropping the ball. Yeah, and that was after they were doing so well on this drive through the air. They go to the ground, doesn't work. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. Oh, it shifts past him. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 37 yards. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot. But not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. Now a first down throw, Watson. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. 26 big yards on that one, it's another first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report. On first and ten, Watson swings this out for Hunt. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Watson's throw hauled in by Bell. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, it's Watson. And it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Pushes past him. And from the 9, they get this to the 5-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation. They show them a shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Give them five on the QB run, but it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Second and five now. Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's Prescott. He's got a man complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A great pick up there, 35 yards. And obviously the first down to go along with it. Here's Prescott. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, 
I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game, Phil. Touchdown, Browns! Murray Cooper in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's... Oh, they pitch to the tight end. It's a fake. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When they'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to where we live and kick the ball through the field. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. They trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are. Here starting the third quarter. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Gun. Here's Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. That's interference. Ethan. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one... A little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Prescott now. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Jadevian Clowney in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Prescott on fourth down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is going to be intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And the Browns are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game, but give credit to this defense. They've really sticked hard throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now it's Watson. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. 
It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Uh, during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. On first down, Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but the QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time... Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. And the Browns are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives, and, and you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. And I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure what it is, but that's why he's frustrated. Think about the defense right now. Every time they run on the field, they've gone from hoping to intercept the pass to expecting to intercept passes. Their confidence at an all-time high right now. To throw once more on second and 10, Watson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing on third down, Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. And look at this. He's going to keep it. Oh, but he'll be stopped well, well short of the first down marker, and it's a turnover on downs. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool them. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And room there to work it inside the 25. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Now Prescott. This will be caught by Brown. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. to throw is Prescott. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Schultz. Touchdown! Dak Prescott able to connect with Dalton Schultz. And the Cowboys are on the board here in this Super Bowl. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Brett Maher on for the extra point. to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's caught. He got it in the end zone. So instead of trying to get one point closer, they roll the dice on the fake and come up 